Notes wow. from Tom Hanks. I, no. Oh. <laughs> I would love, you know who it is. Oh my gosh. You who know, I did have a I get these crushes on who? people. Well, too, I had a crush too. on Alec Baldwin. Oh, I did. did you work with him? And I worked with What's Alec that Baldwin. Like? It was really because I worked with Alec Baldwin on 30 Rock, and it was great. I never looked at Alec in that way, but I had a scene with Tracy where he, because I play his wife, he had right, to keep Tracy throwing Morgan. me on the table, and we were supposed to make love on the table. Sure. So it, during the commercial break, Alec goes, Tracy, uh, step aside. I want to show Sherry how to do it. And he goes, Sherry, stand up. Now jump on me and put your legs around me. <laughs> and I went, no, And he goes, no, no, I got you. I can hold you. Jump, jump. And so I, I jumped on him, and he grabbed me. And I was like, and then he fell, he falls on the couch with me on top. And I was like, I like you. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, hold that thought, because God knows I am. We'll be right back after the break with Sherry. With Ahead, Sherry loves motherhood. You know what? I can't believe you hit me. The liquid of life came from my food to you. These are faces of hunger in Omaha. KETV and Campfire USA are asking for your help to fill backpacks with nutritious food for children in need. To donate, go to KETV.com. Seven can help and Campfire USA, feeding hungry Heartland children. Here are my goals, Ted. I want to trim down, cut the fat, go faster, way faster, go anywhere, do anything without feeling sluggish or slow. And, and I wouldn't mind if it was all gain, no pain. No sweat. You're all hooked up. Let me show you how it works. Get in the loop with Quest and get more when you choose our breakthrough fiber optic fast internet. Our blazing fast 20 meg connection speeds let you start getting high def movies, new music, even digital photos from friends. Smoother, smarter, faster. And you're ready to go. Wow. I've just been spinning my wheels with cable up till now. Enjoy more savings too. Act now and get 1.5 meg internet for just $14.99 a month. More speed, more fun, more savings. It's all working out. So come on. What are you waiting for? It's 1-888-561-7822. Call, click, or come in to get in the loop with Quest. Think of your most embarrassing moment. Multiply it by 20, and you've got the all-new episode of The Doctors. Passing gas, shocking smiles, bulging belly buttons, a quick fix, solutions. The Doctors. Tuesday at 3 on KETV. We the People Document Preparation Services has been the leader in do-it-yourself court documents for more than 20 years. Like divorce, just $349. Bankruptcy, $299. Living Trust, $399. Incorporation, $399. With over 80 documents available, nobody offers more ways to save money on uncontested court matters. Call We the People at 502-9898. They went to work healthy, came home sick. It was like real terrible flu-like symptoms. Now they just want answers. I've exposed my family. Infected with Q fever, an I-Team investigation, tonight at 10 on Newswatch 7. They went to work healthy, came home sick. It was like real terrible flu-like symptoms. Now they just want answers. I've exposed my family. Infected with Q fever, an I-Team investigation, tonight at 10 on Newswatch 7. He's got the number one song in America. Now Grammy Award winner T.I. tells Bonnie everything. Whatever you're comfortable with, but please tell us everything. Plus, the stars of the number one reality show, Amazing Race. Thursday on Bonnie. View with us. We're having a lot of fun. Now, your son Jeffrey's going to be four? He is going to be four years old. We have the same birthday. He came on my birthday. Oh, wow. So he's, he was born prematurely. He was born 15 weeks early, and he Aww. weighed a pound, 10 ounces. Yeah, he did, but they, you know, and it, it, he was, you know, he had so many things that was wrong with him, and they, they gave us the worst diagnosis. But my son is walking and running, and he says, I love you, mommy. So oh, I'm nice? thrilled for the gift of my son. Yes. Yeah. And that's 
with the March of Dimes, right? That that work yes. is very personal for you. I'm one of the spokespeople for March of Dimes mm -hmm. because I found out that a lot of things that March of Dimes does help my son. Makes and sense. so I got you some because I would oh, love if you wanted to walk with us for the March of Dimes. It's called March for Babies, and these are oh gym my shoes goodness, for these are March. fancy. They are. I and always bend shoes to make sure I can walk. Yeah, up. those are good shoes to walk. They're beautiful. And these are famous footwear uh, gym shoes uh, made for March of Dimes. And if you oh. if you buy one pair of shoes, five dollars goes to the March That's of Dimes. That's excellent. Every pair of shoes you get. That's excellent. Yeah. Now, thank you very much. Yeah, and of course I'll walk. Absolutely. Of course I would thank do you. that. And you. You grew up in Chicago. I you have did. this four-year-old little boy. So you know what it's like to go out to the stores with your kid, like in the oh, old neighborhood. Remember that? Yes, it was just like to kids the all over the store laying on the screen. And, and, I, and, I, and I have to say, Bonnie, I apologize to every woman with children. I do, because I was always that woman sitting there going, why don't you just beat him? Why, why? <laughs> He's all over the floor kicking and making all that and kicking the cards. Just and I and I am that woman now. <laughs> Payback. And because you know, and the thing I, I realized you have to pick your battles. So Jeff. Jeffrey, I took him to Macy's shopping, and he's going through the terrible threes, and um, he just, he acted <laughs> out. And it probably was my fault because he needed his nap, but they were having a 75% sale. <laughs> and if it, it was another, yeah, yeah. And I was like, nap, you know, clearance, nap, clear. Okay, we got to go get these shoes. And so I took him in the mall, and he just started, ah, ah, and I tried to give him the credit card applications, and I was like, here, take. Oh, he's like, something ah! to play with. <laughs> yeah. And the thing about kids is when they when they're little, when they start screaming, they like lose their spine because I tried to pick them up. Oh, like, I know. <laughs> they are. And they're like an amoeba, and they slide out of your arms. So I'm trying to carry him screaming. Like a wet all, cat. Like yeah. a wet cat. And I got all my clothes and the screaming baby. And he's screaming, and I could see all of these black women going, who is that? And I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding because I'm just like, oh, my. And so I, and, and, and it was just like I was just trying to, you know. I, yeah, you're negotiating. I'm negotiating. Yeah. With yeah, this. Sure. I'm going, just, Jeffrey, if you could just be quiet for a woman. And the next thing I know, this fist comes out from out of nowhere and clocks me right because he, he was just mad oh, yeah and I just was like you know what I can't believe you hit me the liquid of life came from my boobs to you <laughs> and you and I'm just wow. I'm, I'm going on a, but you but you can't negotiation but you can't now because you know as I'm going you know as I'm just going how could you do this and I'm your mother somebody comes and she's like I love you on the view and I'm like you're pretty baby mama love you. <laughs> <laughs> you the kids are saying, the kids are saying. <laughs> Hey, no, I'm trying to deal with that. Oh, well, you've come a long way too, Sherry. I mean, uh, you know, taking care of, raising a child, of course, the biggest job in the world and probably, of it's course, great. the most fulfilling. Yes. Uh, but you grew up in Chicago like I did. You moved to the suburbs. You go I to did. a new high school. Oh my There's got to be a lot of kids out there that go through that transition. It wasn't easy, was it? It was hard. At that age. Yeah, yeah, I moved to my high school in the suburbs. It wasn't that many black people. And I moved in the middle of roots. That's why I moved. Oh, it's the most no popular the show, roots, right? Right when uh, Kunta Kinte got his foot cut off is when I moved right to the suburbs. So like they did, that was the only black people that they had been um, uh, exposed to. Some some kids. Yeah, yeah. And it was really hard growing up in my school. I met, you know, I had a few friends who were kind of like the nerdy people. I went to my high school reunion. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you about because you went and you, what was it like to see everybody? Oh my God, you know, because I was in a nerdy group and so to see all the popular girls uh, like Tammy Luce Vardy, she was always really mean. Always to remember me. the name. Yes. Oh. oh, you remember the name. Tammy Luce Vardy. <laughs> And she was a popular girl. She was a cheerleader, and she was on the debate team. And she comes up to me, and she's like chain smoking. And I felt like such a nerd again. And she goes, um, everybody tells me that you're in movies and films and TV, but I haven't seen you. I've never seen you on anything. Oh, dear. She did. And I just, it was like all the nerdiness came back. And what are you thinking? You know, I was thinking, I know you've seen me. And I really wanted to say, wow, do they still do beauty pageants at the Social Security office, Tammy? <laughs> Great to see all your success, Sherry. I know what a Thank nice you, person Bonnie. you are in real life, as they say. So I'm very happy for you. Thank Continued you, success. Thank you. you guys can watch The View weekdays on ABC. And for more information on March of Babies, go to BonnieHunt.com. Next, Bonnie with some impressive kid inventors. What is your invention? The toilet seat nightlight. <laughs> toilet seat nightlight? <laughs> 
The human body consists of many complex moving parts, and if what moves you hurts or you suffer an orthopedic problem, trust GIKK Ortho Specialists to get you moving again. At GIKK Ortho Specialists, we have a philosophy. Divide the human body into smaller, more manageable parts. Allow each surgical subspecialist an area of orthopedics in which there is additional training, a higher level of expertise, and an area on which to focus continued education and research. GIKK Ortho Specialists, caring for what moves you. When you need Social Security disability, it's not enough to tell the judge you can't work. Social Security laws and regulations cover more than a thousand pages. When you go to your hearing, you need to be prepared. I'm Tim Cuttigan. An experienced lawyer can best prepare your disability case, whether you need to apply or were denied. Disability law is all I do. Call Timothy Cuttigan, 1-800-250-8593. America's most beloved comic. The man thing to say, how much did it cost? As much as it is feminine to say, 40% off. It's Bill Cosby, live in concert. You argue with your wife. Worst person to argue with. Saturday, March 21st, two shows only, the Orpheum Theater in Omaha. You can't win an argument with somebody who's gone. Tickets on sale now at TicketOmaha.com or call 345-0606. Many things live in our city. But hope lives here. Sean Johnson, Olympic gymnast, turn dancer. And now you too can see your favorite stars turn dancers up close, real close. Enter to win a trip to LA to see the Dancing with the Stars finale, live May 19th. Enter at your local High V. Each week, one lucky winner receives a prize package and becomes eligible for the grand prize. Two tickets to the show finale and $5,000 cash, courtesy of High V. Watch Dancing with the Stars on ABC. Welcome back. It's time for another group of very clever kid inventions here to show us their award-winning inventions. Please welcome Tyler Booman, Emily Ward, and Samula Diarco. Okay. We're going to start here with Tyler. How old are you, Tyler? Eight. You're eight? <laughs> My goodness. And, and, and where are you from? Harlan, Iowa, and we're about an hour from Omaha in Nebraska. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, what is your invention, mister? How did you, tell me how this all came into your mind. First, what's the name of it, I should ask? Uh, my mom told me to have kind of a catchy name, so we said Speed Feeder or something like that. Speed Feeder? Uh -huh. Wow, I could use one of those. <laughs> all right, so what do you, so it's for animals, correct? Mm -hmm. And you, this came about because of, for what reason? Well, we had to do this project for school, right. and we had to come up with an invention. So we were thinking, and my mom said, uh, why don't you think of something for your chores? And I said, well, my only chore is to feed our cats. So after about a week of thinking, we came up with have, uh, having something where you don't have to go outside to feed our cats. So when it's really cold out, Right? The cats, God had them born with a winter coat of their very yeah. own, right? So they're okay outside sometimes. Yeah, and we get to stay in and just take the lid off and pour food out. Because they're really feral cats. They're kind of wild cats. They're not indoor cats. Yeah. But you're nice enough to feed them, mm -hmm. right? And they have different names. Do you name them and everything? Well, my sister named one of them Marvy. Mm -hmm. oh, Marvy? Yeah. That's groovy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got three other cats that don't have names, and then mm -hmm. we've got this other Tom cat, who I named Tom, mm -hmm. who comes around about once a month. Oh, I knew a Tom like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's see how it works, honey. So you're inside, and it's really cold out, and you know the kitties want some food. What do you do? Well, oh. <laughs> I come around, and I take this thing off, mm -hmm. and then you take a thing full of food. Right. And then you slowly pour it through. 
Well, and this goes to the outside. Yeah. That is wonderful. Boy, this is really great, Tyler. You must be so proud of yourself. Yes, I am. Well, you should be, and you should be. Nice job, honey. Thank very, you. very nice. All right, and our next young lady, our next young person, is Emily. Emily, how old are you? Nine. You're nine years old, and where are you from, honey? Rankin, Georgia. Rankin, Georgia. And what is your invention? The toilet seat nightlight. <laughs> toilet seat nightlight? And what made you think of this? Well, my dad always comes home from work because he works night shifts. Uh -oh. And my bedroom is oh, my. right here. And the bathroom is right wait, here. Wait a second. So here's your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Dad comes home late, and what's the issue? He always wakes me up when he turns on the overhead light in here and it always comes right here to my bed. So this was born out of necessity, right? Yep. So you decided, I've had enough of that. Yep. And what did you do? Did you, did you first put a flashlight in there by the toilet? Mm -mm. We just thought of it. And how did you put this together? We had to do a lot of work. We had to do a lot of thinking, mm -hmm. and then we finally came up with it. Mm -hmm. And it, was Dad uh, appreciative of this? Was he a little concerned? Not really. Did he feel badly that he had been waking you up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Why? What did you say to him? I'm like, Dad, quit waking me up, because it's in the middle of the night, and I'll do Kung Fu on him anytime. <laughs> so tell me, what, how does it work? You'll set it down. Uh-huh. And the lights will come on. So should we dim the lights here so we can see how that works? Oh, my. <laughs> Vegas toilet. That's very Viva Las Vegas. My goodness. So now there's no need for Dad to turn on the light. He can go to the bathroom. It's obvious where the, the things are. Right? Yep. That's fantastic. And did you win anything for this? Didn't you enter it in a contest? I had a medal, but my dad left it at the hotel. <laughs> Does mom ever turn on the light at night? No, she she has a bathroom in her room. My dad um, has his oh bedside close to the beth bathroom. So oh, his side of the bed. Yeah, is closer to the bathroom. And that's enough information. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Emily. That's very nice. And I'm, I'm sure you're very proud of yourself, too, right? And may I say, you look very lovely. Look how pretty she looks. I love your outfit. Come here, mister. All right, Samuel, how old are you? I'm 10 and today is my birthday. Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Boy, don't you look the part. This, I assume, is a fishing invention. Yes. My, or you're a bird watcher. <laughs> no, you're not? All right, so tell me, how, what's the name of your invention? Um, the name of my invention is the multi-fisher. The multi-fisher, now how did you come up with this? Well, my dad, it takes a long time to get down to the dock because we have to make so many trips. So this, you, you can carry five, five fishing poles. Wow. And a bait tank where you can store all your live bait. Right. And then a, cool, and then a cooler. Oh, I know what that's for. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Now, I used to go fishing with my dad. It's really early. How early do you get up? Um, five or six in the morning. Oh my goodness, and you, is it real cold out? Not really. No? And so you, you put this all in, you can carry all these fishing rods, because you used to like put them all over your shoulder, yeah. right? What did your dad think when you came up with this? He was really excited. I bet he was. What did he say? Did he say, this is brilliant? Yes. Of course, you must be my son? <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah, and what, what's the biggest fish you guys ever caught? Um, around, about this big. Oh, wait a second. We can't even get that on camera. What, do you know what kind of fish it was? A striper. A striper? Wow, that's impressive. And what do you do with the fish? We, um, do you throw you, them back in? We cut them up and eat them. Oh, that's lovely. Well, so, you know, we do have to eat, right? Yeah? And do you always get a bunch every time you go? Around 10 or 12. Oh, my goodness, that's a good day, isn't it? Yes. It's good for you. And I just love that it's your birthday today. So you know what? You want to make a wish and blow it out? OK. Well, maybe that wish.
which was for a laptop computer, because thanks to Toshiba, all of our kids are going home with one of them today.